360 cameras have become quite popular over the last few years, especially when Insta360 came onto the scene. I owned the One for a short time, but the video quality was kind of terrible. I almost bought the One X, and I felt the quality was good, but not quite good enough to make me drop $500 on it. So I sat that one out and waited to see what 2020 might bring. And just yesterday, Kandao, the makers of KuCam, announced this. The KuCam 8K. And I have to say, this thing looks pretty amazing. At least on paper. It has larger sensors than the One X, so low light performance should be noticeably better. It records in 8K, so each sensor captures a 4K image, which means when you overcapture an output in 1080, it should be nice and sharp and detailed. It can shoot stills in RAW, it has a 2.4 inch touchscreen, and when you view images on it, you can pan around the scene right on the device, which is something I don't think any other camera under a thousand bucks can do. It has customizable presets, Google Street View support, Wi Fi connectivity, live streaming, a 3600 milliamp hour battery, good stabilization, 120 FPS slow motion, a built in speaker, and a microwave oven. Okay, well, that last part's not true, but looking at the spec sheet, I wouldn't be surprised they put that in there too. It does have another first of its kind feature for a consumer level 360 camera though, and that is a built in 3.5mm mic jack. That's pretty big news, because it makes it basically the only choice for vloggers who want to vlog in 360. With audio quality being so poor on pretty much all the popular 360 cameras, this one having a mic jack changes the game. It even has 64 gig of storage built in and a micro SD card slot to add another 256. It's like instead of holding back features like some camera manufacturers do, they've instead packed everything they can possibly think of into one device and then chucked in a few more for good measure. If the performance lives up to the specs, this might turn out to be the most capable and best value 360 camera we've had so far. And the price is only $589. Which sounds like a lot of money, but for an 8K 360 camera with all those features, I think it's kind of a bargain. I just hope it turns out to be as good as it seems, and it's not a letdown like the GoPro Fusion was. Speaking of GoPro, is it a coincidence that in the KuCam's marketing material, there's the line, Beyond the Max? So what do you think? Are you excited about this camera? Do you think it beats the GoPro Max in pretty much every way? Do you think 360 is just a fad? I'd love to hear your thoughts so we can discuss it in the comments like usual. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.